and welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to answer question 8 part C from this June 2022 International A-Level LXL Pure Mathematics P3 exam. Parts A and B are already answered in separate videos because they're to do with different topics, differentiation, integration, and this is to do with iteration. So it says the iteration formula, which we found from integrating the expression for part B, is given by t n plus 1 equals 1 twelfth 116 minus 16 e to the power of negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.75 t n plus e to the power of t n minus 10 minus e to the power of negative 10 this is iteration formula is used to find an approximate value for t which was the time it took for the person to reach um to to complete a 100 meters race so it's using this iteration formula with t1 equals 10 find to four decimal places the value of t2 so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to find t2. So basically what to find t2 is you take the iteration formula and you substitute instead of tn, you substitute the value of t1, which is 10. So I'm going to put instead of tn, 10. So I'll have 116 minus 16 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 times 10 plus e to the power of t to the power of tn, sorry, which is 10. This is going to give you 10 minus 10 minus e to the power of negative 10. So I've replaced this, okay, with 10. This is replaced with 10 in my formula, in those two places. Now, how do we deal with this? Um, we can set this up in our calculator to make all the subsequent answers really easy. So I'll show you how we can do that. Okay, because for part two here, this is this is actually just part one, but because for part two, we're going to have to continue the iteration. What I want to do is to, when T2 comes out, I'll write the answer. I'm going to put T2 back into this formula to find T3. And then when T3 comes out, I'm going to put T3 back into this formula to find T4 until I have uh, found uh, an accurate answer, or more accurate answer. So what I'm going to do to help me set that up is I'm going to do the following with the calculator. First of all, the value we got to put in first for T1 is 10. So I'm going to press 10 in my calculator and equals. That now is the, f the last answer in my calculator. That is, when I press answer, 10 is the value that I'm going to get. So what I'll do is I'll set this up in such a way so that I'll have answer in these places here where you've got Tn. So I'll just put this as 1 over 12 and then multiplied by 116 minus 16 and then you're going to have e to the power of negative 0 0.75 now I'm going to put times answer at the moment that's going to be the 10 here and then plus e to the power of then I'll put answer minus 10 answer minus 10 and then I'll put minus again e to the power of uh, this is negative 10 there's no uh, answer there negative 10 and I'm going to close the whole bracket Now, when I press equals it's going to give me the value of t2 when I press equals I get 9.74 9.74925 9.74925. It continues on. Just make sure. 9.74925. It continues on. Continues on. I haven't rounded it. But we have to round to four decimal places. So therefore we can say T2 is equal to. If you round that to four decimal places, you're going to stop there. So it's 9.7 9.74925. Three. So there's your answer to part one. Okay, there's your answer to part one. Now for part two, it says find the value or find the time taken by the sprinter to run the race, which is basically the accurate value of T or as accurate as you can, or accurate to four decimal places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find what T3 is. And all I have to do to find T3 now is to press equals here. Why? Because where it says answer now, the answer is T2. This is the answer in the calculator. So when I press this equals again, it's going to substitute this wherever I have answer in this expression. So instead of having to type it all over again with this value, 
I can just press equals and it's going to give me T3. So now I've got 9.730624. 9.730624. So I'm going to now keep on pressing equals. Now when I press again, it's going to give me T4. Why? Because it's going to substitute this instead of the answer. So I press equals again. It gives me 9.729415. So as you can see, it's changing, but what's going to happen is going to start you know, the numbers are going to start, um, you know, settling to a particular value. And when it gets settled up to four decimal places, I will stop. So I'm going to press equals again. So now it's going to substitute this value back into the expression. So I, as you can see, it's starting to settle down. I've got 9.72933, 9.72933. Nine goes on like that. Okay, so it's getting closer to a settle value so I'm going to put T6 so I'll press equals again and as you can see it's starting to settle down 9.72933 again 9.72933 it's going to con it will, you know the numbers at the end are, are being different but you see we, we got to co co construct a four dozen places if I keep pressing equals you'll see it will stop and you can see that it's settled here so it's going to settle that's one two three four you're going to end up with the the t is 9.7293 to four decimal places and there we have the answer to part two and that concludes the question number eight from this paper june 2022 of pure mathematics p3 this is just part c in this particular video which is to do with iteration other questions including part a and part b of this particular question can be found in the playlist which also includes all the other questions from the paper uh, this particular paper and other questions which are linked or, or are from the topic of iteration from p3 can be found in the playlist the link for which will be in this um, area over here of the screen and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link in the middle don't forget to check the description of the video to find other material or links to other material that you might be interested in thank you very much and see you soon